Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Queen B, but I'm not talking about Beyonce. In DC Comics, there's been several different supervillains to carry the title of Queen B, but for the sake of this video, I'll briefly touch on the very first, whose original name was Zazala, and I'll primarily be covering the most recent one. Now, the first Queen Bee made her debut in Justice League of America, Volume 1, issue number 23, in November of 1963. But the current version debuted in Superman, issue number 21, in August of 2013. She also happens to stand 5 feet 8 inches tall and weigh 135 pounds, having brown eyes and blonde hair. Now, the first Queen Bee had vast superhuman strength and speed, being almost equally matched with the new god Big Barda. She was also able to fire poisonous darts from her wrist, as well as being able to release a type of pollen that caused delirium and confusion. Now, although the most current Queen Bee is not quite the physical powerhouse of her predecessor, she has a vast array of abilities that make her somewhat more dangerous. She's considered a world-class telepath who can control thousands of people without any strain at all and can influence people's emotion and empathy, as well as being able to project very realistic illusions. She additionally exhibits a high degree of telekinesis, as well as being able to project very powerful psionic blasts. Queen Bee can feed off the psychic energies of others, and her physical body can regenerate at an amazing rate, having an extreme form of healing factor. To top all of this off, due to the meddling of Brainiac, she's now considered a 12th level intellect. Now the most recent Queen Bee was the leader of Hive, which is the holistic integration for viral equality. She was one of what's known as the Twenty, which were humans abducted by Brainiac, who were returned after experimentation gave them considerable psychic powers. Queen Bee was in charge of an army of agents that were devoted to the ultimate goal of spreading a mental virus to psychically dominate first Metropolis and then the rest of the world. Her powers ended up being enhanced even more by a substance called technoplasmic waste, which was refined from the emanations of negative emotions. She ended up coming into conflict with the powerful telepath Hector Hammond and Superman as well. And although they found her mind control and psionic powers difficult to overcome, they finally did break free from her. She revealed that she was working for her quote unquote father, Brainiac, to protect the people of Earth from themselves by mentally enslaving them. She then went on with her plan, hunting down the rest of the 20 and incarcerating them in a psychic prison called the Swarm to be able to tap into their powers. It was then that one of the 20, named Psycho Pirate, attacked her and took her plan as his own. It took Queen Bee allying herself with Superman and Hector Hammond to beat Psycho Pirate and to break the control that he had gained over all the citizens of Metropolis. From here she escapes and seemingly vanishes for a long time. She does finally reappear when taking control of the entire city of New Orleans, but this plan was put to a stop by the Teen Titans. And she also tries to set up shop in Gotham City, but this was put to a stop by Jason Hood and the physical might of Bizarro. Despite these defeats, she's definitely tenacious, and one thing that's for sure is she'll always continue to further Brainiac's mission to control the Earth. Now, for her powers and abilities and her influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Queen Bee a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.